Developing news on a potential teacher strike in Chicago. The mayor drawing a line in the sand saying a deal needs to be done tonight. The union saying talks cannot be made in a vacuum. But are the two sides even talking? CBS 2's Chris Tai is here with the latest on this stalemate. Chris. That's right, Erica. We have confirmed that in the last couple of hours, the union has countered back to City Hall and CPS. We're told they are chewing on that counter offer right now. But this comes after the mayor says the union wasted valuable hours both last night and this morning. And she says this negotiation will end before midnight tonight. If you're here, you're by yourself. I'm not going to be. Time's out. Runway done. We need a deal today. Out of runway, but still no takeoff on an agreement between the two sides. Since the district has a pre planned day off tomorrow, the threat for a strike moves to Monday. We're told that would only happen if CPS locks teachers out from their remote teaching software for failure to show up to brick and mortar classrooms. The mayor says talks will not leak past tonight. So let's do it. CTU, let's do it today. Let's get a deal done. Enough is enough. Each day that passes, the impact on students compounds. No school puts just approved sports seasons in jeopardy and grades already suffering. CBS 2 discovered that while the number of A grades have gone up in reading this remote learning year, everything else has suffered. B's and C's dropped, D's and F's grew by 3%. A nearly identical story for math during the remote year compared to 2020. The three sticking points continue to center on remote work plans for those approved to continue to teach from home, vaccination plans, and metrics for future closure. But the mayor today saying CTU has invoked calls to defund the police while at the bargaining table. Distractions, she says, are preventing resolution. And the school CEO says the science behind the union claim just isn't there. Finding a public health expert who opposes in-person learning would be like finding a scientist that doesn't believe in climate change. Union source telling me today, you know, we have been trying to get these negotiations going for the better part of 10 months. How are we going to get teachers back? And the district just rebuffed them time and again. Only now, they say, are they putting a midnight deadline and forcing folks to work fast? We'll have more as we get it. But for now, live at the Streetside Studio, Chris Todd, CBS 2 News.